Hello again. Uh, well, in our last lecture, we introduced the Bell and the Padula model. Uh, contains the simple security property, the star property, and a tranquility property. Well, Bell and the Padula is an instance of a large class of policies which are called access control policies. We're going to talk about a little bit about those today. Okay. So, what is an access control policy? Well, remember we have a set of subjects, which are the active entities, and a set of objects, which are the passive entities, and a set of access permissions like read, write, execute. And the idea of an access control policy is to say explicitly which subjects have access to which objects in which of those modes. Okay, specifically Bell and the Padula is what's called a mandatory access control policy. The idea of a mandatory policy is you have these certain constraints in place, like simple security and the star property, which are always enforced on every access. And it's not within the purview of any subject to change when those are enforced. On the other hand, a discretionary access control policy is an access control policy which, which is able to be modified by one or more subjects in the system. So for example, if you think about Unix file protection, uh, the owner of a file can change the protection, or the access rights on that file uh, for himself, group, or world. And so that's a discretionary policy in the sense that somebody is allowed to change that on the fly. Okay. In general, any access control policy can be represented by what's called an access control matrix. So this is just a matrix that you build and you label the subjects, uh, the, the subjects label the rows and the objects label the columns. And then any intersection within this matrix uh, says what accesses that subject is allowed to that object. So here's an example. And subject one in this case has certain accesses, access permissions to object one, in particular AI and AJ, whatever they happen to be. And so you might, you might think about this, and uh, a Bell and Lepadula system as an access control policy can be represented as an access control matrix. So for example, suppose you had these three subjects and these three objects with the associated levels. Well, you can fill in this table, uh, label the, 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 matrix, the matrix with these subjects and those objects, and then you fill in either read or write in the intersections uh, depending upon the level of the subject and the level of the object. And remember that that's done by, by consulting the simple security and the star property. So for example, subject one has read access to object one because the level of subject one dominates the level of object one. And it, it's pretty easy to see that you could build a table like this for any subjects and objects if you just knew their levels. Okay. The question becomes then, do you actually want to do this? Well, for Bell and Lepadula, probably not, because you may have thousands of subjects and thousands of objects, and so you're going to have a matrix with millions of, of these intersections, and most of them are probably going to be empty because most subjects won't have any access to most objects. And besides, there's no reason to build the matrix because you can compute these access permissions on the fly just by consulting the simple security and the star property. Okay, so what have we said? Well, Bell and the Padula is an example or an instance of a large class of policies which are called access control policies. And we'll see some more of those as we go along. Bell and the Padula is an example in particular of a mandatory access control policy because the access permissions are always computed uh, according to the simple security and the star property and they're not un at the discretion of any subject within the system. And finally, any access control policy in its most general representation can be represented as an access control matrix, but many times you don't want to do that. There's no reason to build the explicit matrix because as in this case, you can just compute those access permissions on the fly. Thanks much.